come on, let's go and find <laughs> some vans. Let's go. Let's go. Amazing. That is my vehicle of choice. Just got to finance 25 grand now. Oh, and sell our van. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Tonight's episode is all about the NEC. There's a little show there this weekend that you may have heard of. Yeah, it's the Camping, Caravan and Motorhome Show. Yeah. And we're going there, but to keep us on track, we have got a to-do little list. Yep. So we asked everyone what they wanted to see at the show. We've compiled a list of six things that we want to make sure we see while we're there. Someone did ask about gas flow, and there is a reason why we've left that off, because it will probably feature in a later video. Yeah, so watch this space for that one. Yeah. Anyway, with that, on with the show. And with that, we are at the show, aren't we? Yes, we are. So what's the first thing we've got to do? Press passes, let's go and get them. Press passes, come with us. So, task one, complete. Complete it, mate. Right, task two, let's go and find the Britstock store. Yes. We'll tick that off the list. Come with us. It will go for four dots of green. There you go. Perfect. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, we've just picked up our Brit Stops book. Just a brief overview. Brit Stops books gives you a load of stops that you can stop over at for free. We have done a video on it. I will link that video at the end. But now, we're off to something special. We're off to Campervan Co, who've made an all-electric campervan. I'm not convinced how it's going to work. In actual fact, I'm not even convinced it can work. So let's go over to the stand and let them tell us what it's all about. So we are now at the stand. So this vehicle, zero emissions vehicle, that is in terms of driving, and I believe it's also in terms of there's no gas, anything like that. So I think the cooker's all electric, but I will double check that with them. So you're looking at 69,995 um, starting price. Now I'm really intrigued how it works. I'm intrigued to know how many miles it gets. It's a company called Campervan Co. So, we've looked at the range, the range is 205 miles, but what I'm more interested in is how it performs off-grid. So I've got Gary, the owner, with me, and he's going to run you through sort of what they've done to make it last longer off-grid and why they think it's very energy efficient. Thank you. Um, so yeah, we've, we've put a lot of time and energy into this design, uh, designing various features. One of the key features is a, is a really powerful leisure battery, there's a 230 amp hour leisure battery in there, 355 watt solar panel minimum, 355, so the best on the market, there's super fast induction hobs, there's microwave in there, uh, and there's also uh, our specific, specially designed heating system, so uh, the thing that we're, a lot of people are liking at the show uh, this week is it's a heated bed, uh, there's also a small ceramic heater, at the side and there's also an infrared heater so we think that with normal use during the summer that you'll get at least seven days out of it in fact we think that if you're being clever with the use on it and that, and that, that doesn't mean being stingy on the use just using it um, sensibly that it will never run out the battery will run out now that to me is fantastic because yeah we've got our leisure battery we've got solar on the roof and we've got um, a blue etty and we probably wouldn't go away for more than four nights off grid. So yeah, yeah this is potentially revolutionary. Yeah. And the other thing that I think, uh, just to bear in mind, is that we designed it so this is your everyday car, so you can also click in extra seats, which can make it up to a seven-seater. So Gary is just gonna show us how the extra seats go in as well, which is fantastic. So you can use it, obviously, as a people carrier too. So you see the seats going in now. I'm guessing they just clip in place on those rails. And then the seats go up. Here we go. 
that size. And in actual fact, you've still got access just about to the cooker, you've got access to the sink, yeah. um, so it does work. You've seen it here guys, um, go and check them out, Camper Van Co. So see what you think to their zero emissions van. So something else has took priority, we're trying to find the Wandering Wilds. Now, Claire and Debs have been messaging all morning, but sometimes, sometimes you should leave men to do the organising, because as of yet, they've not bumped into each other. But they're in Hall 3 apparently, and so are we. So how hard can it be, in the words of Clarkson? So you know in the olden days, you used to have this thing called a phone, and you used to phone people and say, hello, where are you? Right, and it was simple. But now what they do is they send each other messages, right? And they sit there staring at their screen, waiting for it to go green and waiting for it to be shown as red. And then they wait for the answer. Technology, it doesn't half help us these days, doesn't it? I've educated her in how to use a telephone. <laughs> Film this. <laughs> yeah, no, but you, you're right. Yeah. Right. So, we were asked by Rob to find a caravan for him for 35 grand. He's given us a 35 grand budget. Rob, I'm going to save you some money, mate. Have a look at this. What about that, mate? Look at that. Beautiful. And this one will set you back. It's 18 grand. With the, with the with the awning. That's with the full package, isn't oh, it? Oh, 16 without the awning, and, but that comes with a solar panel as well. Yeah. I want one of these. Claire wants one of these. She'll go halves. You can share it. <laughs> so, we'll have a little look in here. Now, isn't this cute? So, this all goes out into your bed. And you've got everything you need. Right, Claire. You know everyone does the same boring old video when they come yeah. to the show? and you're going to be spammed by so many NEC videos, so we wanted to do something a little bit different. we got a wicked idea. So, I don't know if anyone's ever played the game Top Trumps. Claire's desperate to replace Varney, um, so what we're going to do... Not desperate, I just want a fixed bed. She just wants a fixed bed. We're going to go round, we're going to find our own replacements for Varney. We've got a criteria, things like price, I'm going to put it up on the screen, and whoever wins in each category gets a point. So we'll convene at the end of the video and we'll see who's won this yeah, one. Yeah, we'll see who gets top, who gets top trumps. Yeah, but you know who'll win. Who's your money on? Yeah, but you know who'll win. Who's going to win? I'll win because I'm better. <laughs> I might have to let her win. Claire's not very good at games. <laughs> I'm not very good at losing. Come on, let's go and find <laughs> some vans. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so I think I found a contender. It is the Westphalia Club Joker. Now, you've got this front bit makes a bed at the bottom. You have got a bathroom and a kitchen in the back. Now, bear in mind, this is on a T6. Um, and I think that makes a bed up at the top. However, I don't think we can class that as a fixed bed. If we could class, it's got a table that comes out the back. <laughs> if we could class that as a fixed bed, then we would have a contender, but we can't. Where's Claire gone to? Claire, where are you? Here I am. Love this. Yeah. So you can have this all boarded off, but it doesn't expose the toilet. Can I have the camera? Yeah. So you can shut this off so you've got your separate bedroom, but also it's got another one here so you don't have to sit with the toilet there. I must admit, I do like this. And I like also, the lounge. Also, can I just say as well, it comes all the way around so you can actually put the bedroom off so you can entertain here and the bedroom's locked off as well. So this is the Naus Boxster um, and you're looking at anything between 65,000 and 71. So, when Claire's numbers come up on the lottery. I also just found out yeah. that you can actually move both of the screens out and then you've got your, that opens that whole bit up. So then, like, you've ditched all that space. Yeah. If you put the camera oh, in there. Okay. Well, that closes, you've got that whole shower room. Ah, be interesting to see if this makes it to your top one. And it's got a fixed bed. It's got a fixed bed. Good. Is that a single or a double? It's a double. It's a double. Yeah. 
Perfect. I like it. You've got two belted seats there and two at the front. I don't think that doesn't make up a bed, does it? Um, no, that's just to bring the seats yeah, no, forward and back. It so it's two berth. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Nice, compact. Nice, got a lot of storage. Okay. Yeah. Good. It's a contender. Right, Rob, I've upgraded your offer. I found you one for 27k. Have a look at this. T at B Metropolis, right? Look at that. Don't look like you stand the caravan from the outside. Bit of a different shape. Teardrop shape. There's the spec there, mate. I'm going to stick my nose in and I'm going to have a look. But that lounge area looks nice as well. Have a look at that, Rob. There you go. You sit there, you know, your dinner. And creme de la creme, mate, it's a fixed bed. Claire would be made up on this one. Okay, so I have found my contender for the game that we're going to play. So look at this, right? It's based upon the T6 chassis, okay? And it makes the claim to say that it's the best motorhome for under six metres. And let's have a look. So price-wise, you're looking at 75k. There's all the details there, so I think the length is 588, so that is under six meters. I think, I think it's a real contender, to be honest with you. So let's just have a look inside, okay? So this I find fantastic. You have got access from inside to the garage. So look at that. You've also got a hanging rail, so it's potentially a garage slash a wardrobe. Okay, so you've got the fridge there, and then just moving through, you've got the hob, you've got the grill, and you've got the sink. The only thing I can't see is I can't see an oven, but, How's that for a nice, comfy, comfy, cosy lounge? You've got the front seats to turn around, and then you've got your bed up top. You can actually fit in the lounge whilst the bed is up. So I am sitting now in the lounge, so someone could be upstairs in bed, and I'm sitting quite comfortable in the lounge. What a van. This is amazing. So Claire's going to show us how the bed goes away. So there's a little lever here. So you hold that and push there and then it just slides away. How fantastic is that? Also, you can actually clip it up so you can get it right out of the way. Look at the height she's got. I know she's not very tall, but look at that. <laughs> yeah, so you can actually get it right up there. Fantastic, massive lounge, especially with those two seats. Phenomenal, Lovely. on a T6. So, we've got the shower, sink. That's nice, isn't it? But watch this. Look at that. Fantastic, isn't it? Show a little, show a little. Mm. Yeah. 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 It's amazing. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Man. Amazing. That is my vehicle of choice. Just got to finance 25 grand now. <laughs> oh, and sell our van. Hmm. <laughs> Rob, Claire's found you your dream van. 31,000. It's by Naus. We know people that got Naus motorhomes are really good. She's going to show you around it now. Come with me. Look at this. So, beautiful fixed bed. Sorry about the flashing light in here. There's a lovely skylight up there. Lots of storage. And these cupboards are like proper meaty, look. Oh, that's your toilet and shower. Lots of storage. Oh, look at that, love it. Sink and hob area. And what a lovely little lounge. Look at that. Entertaining there, lovely. This is super. If I would have wanted a caravan, this is what I'd want. Big 
garage. So one thing we've got left on our list is to find gadgets. Now we're going to go around the stalls and we're going to have a look at some gadgets, but I think I've got a good place for us to start. So we're starting at the Ridge Monkey stand. Now everyone knows Ridge Monkey is fantastic, but I think they've got a few other gadgets as well. Shall we have a look? Well, first of all, you've got this shower. Now, I don't know if anyone's seen the Wandering Wilds video. They've actually done a review on that shower. So check that one out. Then just moving our way down, you've got your cool boxes. You've got, this is fantastic, water carrier. Um, five litres with a tap. So the one Claire's picking up there, I love these kettles, um, the guys just said that for storage purposes that fits into the deep pan, which we've got the deep pan, so that is well worth getting I would say. Open that up. Yeah. Perfect, so you can keep your kettle in there. Hmm, I told Claire to stick it on the birthday list. Good news, we found you another gadget. Debs from Wandering Wilds is going to demonstrate in a second. She's just paying for hers first. <laughs> right, Debs, show us what it does. Right, well, this hoovers up the crumbs without any power. Right, so you rub it over the crumbs like that. Uh, 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 and then they're all gone. Look, it's brilliant. Debs. What? You missed a bit. <laughs> <laughs> can I show you the Lego bits? You can show me the Lego bits. Alright. Yeah, I see them? Now you don't. <laughs> How cool is that? Right, look. And all your rubbish. How'd you get this off? Just pull it. Give it back to the lady, that's it. <laughs> Give her our rubbish back. <laughs> so, this, so what is it, Debs, and how much does it cost? It's called Crumbs Away, isn't it? Yeah. How much and, you pay? Uh, I paid £10, which is show price. Yeah. Brilliant bargain, because you've got the two. You've got the one for the car. Yeah. This little one here, does your car. And this one, obviously, that you can see there. Oh. I mean, it's picking up big crumbs. Yeah. You know, I mean, some of our hoovers would, would actually struggle. That's an old oven door out of a scrapyard. Yeah. There's no way that yours will ever get that bad. No. Don't go home and do this, but look. You can't shift that with a wire brush. Well, you don't need wire brushes. All we ask you to use is one of these nylon pads. The cleaner is perfectly safe on your skin. Yeah. I can't leave with the point enough. There's no fumes. Yeah. There's no smells. Would you like to have a smell, sir? It's safe if you're asthmatic. Yeah. Safe with children, safe with pets, and safe for the environment. Put a bit on and use it everywhere. Baths, sinks, tiles, taps. The grouting between the tiles where mould and mildew gathers. And if you live in an odd water area, it's fantastic on lime scale. Wipe that residue away. You could, if you wish, relight and cook on there immediately. You might have a glass oven door. You've got a lot of glass, glass oven doors, Pyrex, glass on a wood burning stove. It's all tough and glass. Remember, perfectly safe on your skin. Put a bit on. Do your barbecue in the grill pan, microwaves inside and out. All your UPVC, as we've mentioned before, your windows, your doors, your conservatories. It'll get rid of all the insect marks, the bird lime, the tree sap. Use it on shower screens, shower cubicles, alloy wheels. And if you do ever burn the bottom of an iron, it'll do the job. Superb. One cleaner for all the jobs. So that product, and one of the last we've been asked to do, is we was asked for someone that could show us um, what would revive a shower tray. And the product's called Revive. So yeah, give it a try. Revive. And there's the product, and there's the website. So I'll go off for five minutes, and Claire's having her hair done. Look at this. She's having a <laughs> so Claire's come back after her makeover they've done her hair they've put brilliant curls in it look at this what happened? they fell out Debs on the other hand <laughs> look at that curly Shirley eat your heart <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
for further than you, Claire. Don't get cocky. Go on, I've still got two lives here. I could go back again. Don't push me. No, don't. I'll be. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> right. So after that fantastic show, we did promise that we was going to play Top Trumps. Yes. Claire's got her van that she chose. I've got my van. Why don't you remind everyone what van you got? So I've got the Naus Boxster 540. Naus Boxster 540, mm. yeah. Yep. And I've got... got all my data. I've got the Vinesburg, spelt with a W, um, Excursion Edition Pepper, right? Mm -hmm. So, Tessie, we're just playing a game, <laughs> Tessie. Tessie wants to get involved. Okay, so you go first with length. Right. How long are you? So length is 5.41 metres. 5.41? Mm -hmm. Mine's 5.88, which is obviously longer, but we did say the shortest wins on this one. Oh, okay. So that's yep. a point for you. Point for me. Okay, next on to the width. What have you got for width? 2.58 metres. And I'll get point for this, because mine's 2.16. So we're 1.1 one, one one at the all. minute. One all. Right, engine size, what are you? 2.2 litre. Well, I'm two litre, so you get a point for that because we said biggest engine wins. Um, belted seats. So I've got four. You've got four? Mm. Only got two. That's Claire again. What are you now? What? Is it three, three, one? You are now. Yeah. Right, okay, so berth. Uh, two berth for mine is. I'll pick up one here. Three, two, that is uh, four. Okay. Four berth. Yep. And price, we're going for the cheapest. Price, 65k. 75k, that's you. Oh, no point for um, me. And then the final one is fixed bed. Fixed bed, yes. Mine's got a fixed bed. Now, mine I'd like to say has, but no, it hasn't. I thought it was fixed bed. No, it's a drop down bed, so. Oh, yeah. okay. Well. You're going to give me a point for that? You can have half a point. Have half a point. Unless it makes you win. No, that confuses me with the score. Forget that. I'll just take one <laughs> point. <laughs> we'll say that Claire won 5 2. Too, yeah, see? so your top van trumps. come out top. Yay! Mm. Are you happy? Yeah. Good. Well, what? I don't know. I actually prefer your van. <laughs> yeah, so... It's I a... saw this one before yeah. we both found that one, didn't we, really? Yeah, so, I'll be honest with you, it's a bit of a bittersweet victory for Claire, because mm. what did I say to you about the Vinesburg? You said it could replace Varney in a couple of years' time. Yeah, so in a couple of years' time, we've got a few things to sort out finances, but in a couple of years' time, I think we're actually probably going to get one. Yeah, we love, both loved it, didn't we? So Varney might be going. Anyway, so there's a bit of a, uh, there's a, bit of a bombshell here, and that is that the best van of is not trumps. really the winner. The winner of Top Trumps wasn't really the winner for us. No. And on that bombshell, good night!